Do you find yourself living in fear? These days, fear can manifest itself in many different ways. Well, my guest today calls them fear inducers, the constant desire to be in control, being a people pleaser. Maybe you're constantly worrying. Kelly Bellari could check off all of those boxes, but says she has found a place of lasting peace. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you for having me, Maggie. I am so excited to be here We're with you today. We're excited to have you. Now, you shared candidly in your new book called Fear Fighting about this constant, uh, this constant fight of fear. Just fear overwhelms your life in many different ways. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. You know what? I just feel like fear has been the predominating force in my life. It has been something that's like lived on my skin where I just come and meet someone. I get goosebumps all over me and just want to stay inside the house. And it would just live in my heart. Just worry would feel like the pressures and the tension and in the pit of my stomach. And I would always go through my life, Maggie, saying, what could happen to me? What might go wrong? Why aren't I made right? What am I ever going to do and live and be more? Why can't I do everything like all those other fabulous people are doing. Mm. I felt like there was this world of opportunity that was before me that I just couldn't access. And so you were struggling with depression, eating disorders, the oh list was long. The list started from when I was a child. Like I just remember spinning around in my backyard. I was so free. It was like mm. this vision of me as a little girl and the world was just open to me and I'd dance and I'd sing and it didn't matter. I feel like that was a little slice of Kelly Bellari. Mm. But then it's like people started to make comments like, oh, who are you to think you look pretty when you do that? Or, you know, at school, people would laugh at me when I, when I was myself and I thought, oh man, no, I've got to cover myself up. I've got to hide because who I am, it's just not good enough. Mm -hmm. And so I took this idea that I needed to protect myself and then carried it into all the avenues of my life. I had an eating disorder in college, like you said, and I was just so afraid of who I was and being authentic that and feeling like I needed to control, that I just managed my world until I was so stripped away. I was just a shell of who I was really created to be. When did you realize that fear was the stumbling block? Because so many times we live in this fear and we don't even realize we're living in it. It's just our constant day-to-day -day language. We're always looking at everything in fear. But when do you realize that you're actually under this suppression of fear? You know what? We have to love our husbands, right? Because there are those moments where they just say something and we have a choice where like either we love them in that moment because they just mm. really helped us or we're like, hand up. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. hear what you have to say. <laughs> I am out of here, you know? So my husband, it was my birthday, and he looked at me and he said, Kelly, I love you. But I'm just wondering, are you just going to continue to just try things and then turn away because of your fear of failure? Yeah. Or are you going to step in and move past fear and step into the great things that I believe God has planned for you? Yeah. And I remember all the excuses, thinking about them. Oh, I'm too old. Oh, I, you know, I can't do it. I always see, I see my record back there. I, I fear I'm always going to do those mm. things that I did. Mm. But I just said to myself, okay, you know what? He loves me. Mm. And when you know someone loves you, mm. it makes all the difference in the world. You believe you can. You know, God says perfect love casts out yes. fear. And it really does. He held up that mirror to you so that you could see the reflection of what you were, what you were at that moment. Yes, and I had to let it in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, this really is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I'm really in this place of fear. I'm really in this place of worry. I'm really in this place of trepidation. Mm -hmm. But I know that I can step into newfound dedication if only I just open myself up to seeing the reality and let God work in that place. Mm. I love in, the, in your book, and I, there's so much to talk about. Page 22, you say, if you spend your whole life grasping for happy in the future, you'll end up missing God's transformation in the present. You'll run after something, but you'll never catch it. And I wanna move on to fear inducers because we only have a minute left and I wanna get this in. Because I never realized, I think, that fear, yeah, that fear can induce how we respond in different ways. And that is control, people pleasing, worry, comparison and competition. I wanna focus on control. The, because it really does take control of your life when you allow fear to dictate how you respond to people, things, everything, your environment. It is so true. I was with my son and he was drawing a picture of me and he's like, mom, here you are, this is you. And I'm like, I must be super mom. Like finally he's like, mom, you're awesome. Yeah. And so he drew the picture and he had like that little bubble above yes. the head, you know, where you write the words and what the person is thinking. And so I said, son, what am I thinking? And he goes, 
you're thinking about yourself, Mama. <gasps> Woo! And I'll just oh, tell you, Maggie. Wow. I thought, isn't that the truth about control? Mm. It's this world about thinking about myself. How can I protect myself? How can I manage this relationship so it doesn't hurt me? Mm. How can I make sure that my world is going to be okay? Because it's just too mm. scary. Yeah. Wow. Well, we are going to come back to our discussion with Kelly. Uh, we're going to take a short break. And when we return, the name of the book is called Fear Fighting. Kelly's going to share with us how we can fight that fear in our lives. Stay with us.